Welcome to your Gold Market Update charts of the day. It's the 14th of December. Mike Smith here, senior analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the back half of the Asian session. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news right now. Of course, we saw US equities surge overnight, closing in on all time highs on the major indices. Jerome Powell press conference suggestive of a more aggressive rate cut potential than previously telegraphed for 2024. Uh, there is a thought that there may be up to three rate cuts during next year, which the market suspected already, but the fact that there was some sort of confirmation from the Fed was what markets responded to. US futures are higher in Asian trading, and Asian markets are generally following that lead from Wall Street. ASX is trading 1.6% of the upside with all sectors in positive territory. The Nikkei is the exception to the rule, slightly down at this stage, but European futures are pointing to a strongly positive open. And the VIX is now below four-year lows. Really quite mellow markets at the moment in terms of where things are. The US dollar index dropped through short-term support, May test, end of November lows. It's weaker again in Asia. And as a result, gold surged $50, traded back towards those all-time highs. It's now around 2030 at this stage. Copper's choppy, but is moved back to test 385 resistance. Be interesting to see how that responds once the European markets open. And all had a small bounce, and so is holding above five-month lows. Bitcoin also looked positive, moved back towards 18-month highs, trading around 43,000 at the moment, bounced off that. Now what looks like important 41,000 level. And on the data front, we've had New Zealand GDP weaker than expected. Australian jobs are stronger, and that's pushed the Aussie dollar higher. We've got US weekly jobs and retail sales, Swiss, Eurozone, and UK rate decisions. And PMI data tomorrow, so a really busy couple of days. Should be plenty of movements going forward, but this stage the bulls are very much in control. A couple of charts at Core RI today. We referenced the Aussie dollar strength that you can see there. We've broken a key level on the daily chart uh, at 66.75. We pushed over 67 in today's trading. If we look at an hourly chart, there you can see the impact of that Fed press conference. And just a little bit of a pause after a strong Asian session as well for the AUD. Hardly a significant sell-off, perhaps just a little profit taken as we got here. Uh, so the next move on this will be quite important. We breach 67.20, then we could see this up towards 68, pretty sharpish. In the US, the home builders are still looking strong. We're looking at Porti Group here. Uh, this is the um, candle for yesterday. So we got a small move to the upside but this is at all-time highs home builders are strong right across the board looks as though this is going to continue in the us alternatively you could look at the home builders etf which is xhb also but we like pulse group at this stage look for a move higher from here